Hi, I am Dr. Gustavo Quiroz. The topic we are going to talk about is when do you have to take complete samples from the vagina? ¿Qué tal? Soy el Dr. Gustavo Quiroz y el tema que vamos a ver el día de hoy es ¿Cuándo hay que tomar cultivos completos de la vagina? Hi, how are you? ¿Cómo estás? Bien, gracias. She says fine, thank you. How old are you? ¿Qué edad tienes? 30 años. 30 years old. Ok, what is your actual work? ¿A qué te dedicas? Soy modelo. She is a model. Ok, when do you start with the... Do you have any problem right now in your vagina? ¿Tienes algún problema, alguna molestia en tu vagina? Tengo un flujo blanquecino con mucho. She said that it's liquid going out from the vagina. The white liquid, like yogurt, that is going out from the vagina. Dice que tiene líquido blanco, bueno, ahorita lo que acaban de escuchar. Do you have any pain, scratching, burning, or something like that? ¿Tienes este comezón, ardor, o alguna otra molestia? No. She said no. When did you start with this? ¿Cuándo empezaste con esto? Hace como cinco meses. Approximately five months ago. Do you have este, have you ever been treated of this? ¿Te has sido tratada de esto? Sí. She said yes. How many times? ¿Cuántas veces? Dos veces. Two times. Well, when you have a problem like this in your vagina and you have several treatments, it's important to take several samples like right now we are going to do. Si tú tienes una infección o algo en tu vagina, salida de líquido o algo, que no se quita y ha sido recurrente, entonces es importante tomar los cultivos completos. ¿Estás bien? Okay? Sí. Ok, so we are going to take this kind of sample. Vamos a tomar estas muestras. We are going to ask her also. Vamos a preguntarle a ella también. Uh, how many sexual partners do you have in all your life? ¿Cuántas parejas sexuales has tenido en toda tu vida? More than 20. Ok, that would be another, another important reason. Eso también sería una, una importante razón. Cuando tú tienes, pues bueno, varias parejas en toda tu vida, es importante tomar muestras completas de esta área. And the third question that is very important, y la tercera pregunta que es muy importante, in the past, have you ever had any bacteria or infection that would be important in the vagina? En el pasado has tenido alguna infección, alguna bacteria que te haya causado ¿Algo importante en la vagina? Sí. Dice said yes. Ok, that will be. So she has three factors to take complete samples from the vagina. Ella tiene tres factores para tomar cultivos completos de la vagina. Ok. Vamos a pedirle que ponga aquí sus, sus piernas. A ver tus piernas. Tú me dices. también hizo también I'm going to put this design, this device inside her vagina voy a poner este aparato dentro de su vagina me regalas tanito gel por favor Has a light in una luz. You have to enter right there. Tienes que entrar así, not like this, like this, so the patient don't feel any pain. Para que no sienta tanto dolor al paciente, hay que entrar así, no así. Are you okay? ¿Estás bien? Sí. We have to see the cervix. Tenemos que ver el cuello. Because some samples will be from the cervix, porque algunas muestras serán del cuello. That's it. We can see right that. We can see the cervix. Ahí podemos ver el cuello de la matriz. We are going to take three samples. Vamos a tomar tres muestras. The first sample will be a culture. Sería un cultivo. To see that she no have that she didn't have a no contamination. La primera muestra es un cultivo. We take it from the most deep part of the vagina. La tomamos de la parte más profunda de la vagina. To see that she don't have any, con any fungus or contamination from the anal part. So that will be the first sample. The second sample, we take it around 
el cervix, la segunda muestra de átomos alrededor del cervix. This sample is because to see that she don't have urea plasma and mycoplasma infection. Esta segunda muestra es para ver que no tenga alguna infección por urea plasma o mycoplasma. And the third, the third sample we take it from the cervix. Y la tercera muestra la tomamos del cervix. Are you okay? No te molesta? No. We take this sample from the cervix. Tomamos esta muestra del cervix. That will be the, the, the three samples, the most important samples, to see that she don't have bacterial infections that will be, res, that will be re, resistant to, to treatment. Ya tomamos tres muestras, de las cuales hay bacterias que pueden ser resistentes para tratamiento. We go out, vamos hacia afuera. And we can see here the fluid, the white with white spots, the fluid that is coming out from the vagina, and here you can see the liquid that is coming out from the vagina. It's more, it's more like a fungus infection, it's more like an infection for hongos, with, but we take the other samples to see that everything is okay. It looks more like an infection for hongos, but we take the other samples to see that everything is okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Do you feel any pain? Do you feel any pain? No. She didn't feel pain? Was comfortable the story? Fue, fue algo este, cómodo? Sí. She said yes. Well, thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Well, thank you very much for watching us. I am Dr. Gustavo Quiroz. See you and until next time. Gracias por vernos y hasta la próxima. Bye.